Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Satoshi Sean. You're at the Cryptopolitan, your one-stop shop for all news when it comes to blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. We try to get reports out to you every day. Um, we can report as well. If you're a new subscriber or old subscriber, please crush the like button, really, really helps us out. Let's jump into what's in the news. Uh, first off, uh, Grayscale. Uh, the Bitcoin Trust has registered with the SEC. They, I did a story a few days ago that they did like six hundred million dollars this year, so it's it's a huge deal. Grayscale is massive, um, really really pushing Bitcoin adoption forward um, in the uh, institutional market. My mind went blank there for a minute, so I think that's going to be a big a big deal um, this year. Um, I think. Institutional money will be. Everyone thought that when back went through, it's everything's gonna everything's gonna happen, you know, fast. Because honestly, things do happen very fast in crypto. But it's the crypto niche market. You know, we're we're moving into the traditional market, and they don't move that fast. They uh, people are a lot more conservative um, and careful. So, uh, but I I think that. I think that the stream of institutional money in 2020 will be constant. I think it will be a a nice, slow-moving river that will fill the lake of crypto. Um, but it's not going to be like a tidal wave, like everyone thinks it's going to be. But it will make a huge difference this year, just my opinion. Um, the RBI finally offers clarity on regulations in India, which... I've said for like a year now, I think it's all a scam. Um, I think the Reserve Bank of India is in bed with Facebook. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I don't see why Facebook would have run its pilot program for Libra in India, um, you know, with all the, uh, the problems that were going on. I think this is all designed to make buzz. I think it's all designed to uh, bring about news reports. Imagine that, people talking about it. Um, taking something away, everybody wants it, and then boom. Um, there is no crypto, but they were talking about putting people in prison in, uh, you know, at, at one, one or two times last year about this. And now they're going to, you know, have a nice regulatory framework. It's going to be, uh, you know, accepted. And India is huge. India is going to be probably, probably bigger than the United States or China, or it's going to be one of the, one of the top three. As far as uh, – why am I just – I'm totally losing my train of thought. As far as like GDP and stuff, um, population also massive. So uh, – and they're moving fast. They're moving like China a couple of years ago fast when it comes to, uh, to growth. So I think this is going to be a, a huge leader when it comes to, uh, to adoption. Um, speaking of old Facebook – once again, my opinion, I don't think Libra's going anywhere. I think that Facebook and, and Libra, they're going to fight the government. They're going to fight the powers that be. Um, and I think they're going to emerge as the largest economic hegemony in the world. Um, and that's a strong term, but they have more, more users, more you know, citizens than China or the United States. Um, I, I, I think it's, they're going to be, uh, and I think they're poised to fight. If they weren't, they would have left their headquarters in the United States, in California. They moved everything to Switzerland. Um, Facebook has separated itself as from Libra so that they can't really be sought and gone after. Um, I think that every, all their moves have been calculated, intelligent, um, and they all seem to point towards them getting ready for a fight. They're not going to, to Capitol Hill. They're not testifying before Congress anymore. They've moved to Switzerland, and now congressmen are flying to Switzerland to talk to them. So the roles are being reversed. I think that they're, they're, uh, they're ready for, the, for, for a fight. Um, President of uh, Hedera Hashgraph said that uh, stablecoin Libra has the potential to bring about a complete shift in power of the status quo um, that we know of today, which, like I said, I mean, no, 
no country has ever done it. Any country that's ever threatened the United States hegemony as a reserve currency, even, I mean, they've been the United States allies and friends for decades. You know, um, countries like Libya, Iraq, Iran, um, all these countries were, were strong allies of the United States. And a lot of people think that the wars are because of oil. Literally, I think Libya said that they wanted to use their gold or their oil as to back their currency. Within two weeks, they're declared a terrorist organization and, and enemies of the United States. And then we send in troops. It's, it's usually – and people think it's about the oil, but whenever we go in there, we don't mess with the oil. We leave the oil alone. It's always about the money. It's always about the U.S. dollar. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun to see. Also, it's going to be fun to watch my uh, my jerky friends who always talk about Sean's internet money being stupid, using Libra and using a cryptocurrency, not a real cryptocurrency, a digital currency. I know that. Don't go insane about that. But all right, and then blockchain is a service. I mean, transform government schools. Once again, uh, looking at India, um, I've said for years. I think education is one of the best uses for blockchain. I mean, it's up there with uh, um, supply chain. Everything is stored. Everything is secure. Nothing can be changed. Um, your grades, your transcripts, everything follows you everywhere. It's always easily accessible. Um, everything's transparent. It is perfect for education. I was uh, interviewed about six months ago or a little less by uh, English Forward. They're one of the biggest um, English teaching uh, groups in Africa and I believe India, it's pretty much the world anyway. But um, they're, I was talking to them and about how they're using blockchain and I was talking about AI and other stuff, but that's what I thought was really, 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 really cool why uh, I did the interview with them. Um, but this is the India's uh, Minister of uh, Information Technology. So once again, I think it's I think Indy's gonna be leading the way. That's about it for today. I hope everyone's having a, a good week. I am Satoshi Shaw and I will see you guys in the next video.